We're at the Cottle a Net Zero Energy Home Project. We have a partnership with the U.S. Department of Energy's Building America program to gather uh, data uh, about uh, the performance of the home. One of the things that we added to the experiment uh, list is, uh, you can see behind you here, uh, has to do with the performance of double pane versus triple pane windows. So in this case, we're here in the laundry room and the only double pane window in the house is actually behind me. Everything else is a triple pane window. So this is about the best double pane window you can buy. It's filled with special argon gas and has the best spacers. Uh, it's the top of the line. And up here toward the top of the window, we have a thermal couple that is sensing the interior temperature of the glass. And then behind us up here on the ceiling, we have a couple of ping pong balls uh, shaped sensors that are measuring the mean radiant temperature of the room as a control. Now upstairs in the other bathroom, we have a window of the same size, also with the thermal couple and also with uh, uh, the temperature sensors in the room, but it's a triple pane window, same size, same orientation. And it's a, what we would call an entry level triple pane window. So in this particular experiment, we said, let's get the best double pane we can buy and an entry level triple pane to see if there's any kind of d differential. Um, we're monitoring here then uh, these temperatures and we're seeing under the more extreme design conditions up to about a five degree Fahrenheit temperature dif differential. We've also done a lot of field studies with our trusty uh, laser thermometer where we've checked more the average double pane window versus a higher performance triple pane window and we're seeing on average something like an 8 to 10 degree difference. So what does this mean? Obviously there's a, there's a difference in energy performance since this double pane uh, window is losing more heat and has a lower surface temperature inside during uh, winter conditions versus the triple pane which is um, allowing less heat to escape and maintaining a higher interior glass temperature. Okay, so the energy is important but the real essence of this is occupant comfort. So the reason that we have triple pane windows in this particular home, which is a passive house, is that with triple pane windows, we can maintain a much, much higher level of occupant comfort because there's very little, no more than a few degrees at any one time, even under cold conditions outside, temperature differential between the wall, if we measure it, and the interior surface temperature of the glass. And what this means is that you as an occupant do not sense any kind of uh, cold spots as we would normally find with an average double pane uh, window, let alone a single old single pane window, is that your body wants to radiate heat to, that, to those cold surfaces that are, are, have very poor insulation. So this creates also convection currents and drafts and, and what have you. So it leads to occupant discomfort. With full triple pane windows, we eliminate cold surfaces, very small temperature differential between the wall and the glass, and we therefore have no convection currents, and we essentially have very even temperatures throughout the room and a very, very high level of, of occupant comfort. Since there's no, there's no temperature differential sensing going on, body relaxes, extremely comfortable, wonderful sensation. So this is one of the experiments we're trying to get the data and, and verify this. We know from pa passive house design principles and now certainly having been in one of these homes uh, how wonderfully comfortable they are. This is some, some experimental data to, to verify the, um, the actual uh, numbers for this. So double versus triple pane windows.